Right now at 4.30, new questions after the historic indictment of former President Donald Trump. Trump pleading not guilty to 34 charges in court in New York this week. The criminal charges stemming from alleged hush money payments to former adult film star Stormy Daniels. Joining me now to discuss what this means for the 2024 presidential race is Meet the Press moderator Chuck Todd. So, Chuck, there's a lot to unpack here. We know there are no rules that no. ban the former president from running again despite these charges, but what are the political implications of this and how is this affecting the Republican Party at this point? Well, look, I think right now it's consumed the party, right? The only conversation being had inside Republican circles is this. Boy, can Donald Trump be the nominee with all these legal troubles? And then, of course, Donald Trump has fused his political campaign interests with his legal defense. So he fuses them together. So when he campaigns, he's not ignoring his legal problems. He's leading with his legal problems. He wants to make his legal problems the number one issue to debate inside the party. That's a disaster in the long term for the GOP. At the end of the day, voters, we're all selfish, right? We want you talking about ourselves. Voters expect you campaigning on their issues, talking about what's in the, their problems, not your problems. And I think that in the long term, that's going to be problematic for the party. But they're kind of in a box here. Trump is who he is. He has a, a grip on a loud minority of the GOP's base that, that I think sort of paralyzes Republican leaders right now. So look, I, I, I don't, let's see what happens if there's a second or third indictment. And I think at that point, then the weight of this could change the calculus. But right now, I think, right now you have a whole bunch of Republican leaders that are just have decided this is not, they don't feel comfortable enough using the New York case as the reason to break with them. And I think they're waiting to see what happens in Georgia and Washington before figuring out a plan B. So where do all the other Republican candidates now stand? Well, that's the thing. Uh, you have, I think this kind of freezes the race, right? You have DeSantis is still trying to get his pre-campaign going. Nikki Haley is trying to do, is, is, is an active candidate, um, but she's not, and none of them are taking the fight to the former president. Uh, Asa Hutchinson has announced that he's gonna be announcing in a couple weeks, but it's, you know, I think all of them right now realize it's hard to break through because the legal issues are dominating the narrative inside the Republican Party. So until that breaks, and that's why I keep saying, none of them wanna take Trump on, on these legal problems using just the Manhattan case. I do think this calculus changes if there's an indictment that comes out of Georgia or Washington, because no matter either one of those indictments would be far more serious and would lead to potential jail time. You know, the New York case doesn't lead to any jail time, even if he's found guilty. It really is sort of, you know, it would be an elaborate way of, of making sure something went on his permanent record. But other than that, there would be no other penalty that went with it. Uh, the other two are far more serious and penalty could be behind bars. Mm, it's interesting to see how this will all play out. Chuck Todd, thanks so much for joining us. And for more with Chuck Todd, right, make Carolyn, sure you tune it. in to Meet the Press this Sunday at 10 a.m. right here on WCNC Charlotte.